Breaking news coming in the last couple of minutes and regards former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose has been released by WWE. This comes less than 24 hours after losing her NXT Women's Championship to Roxanne Perez on last night's episode of NXT on the USA Network. We have the details regarding her exit from WWE and the reason for her firing. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. And what a shocking bit of news breaking in the last couple of minutes or so. At the time of recording, we don't have a ton of details. All that we really do know as of right now, it's being reported by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select to first break this news story. And that is Sean Ross Sapp is reporting that Mandy Rose has been released from her WWE contract. This is what they're reporting right now. Again, this comes in the last couple of minutes at the time of recording. I'm sure we'll find out more in the coming minutes minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, etc. But Mandy Rose has been released by WWE. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select has learned that Mandy Rose has indeed been released from her WWE contract. Now, as of right now, the details that we have, Sean Ross Sapp is reporting that WWE felt they were put in a position where they needed to release her due to what they considered the explicit nature of the content on her brand army page. They considered this to be outside the parameters of her WWE contract. Of course, if we get any more information here, we'll talk about it here on the channel, but certainly it's very significant. Now, it must be said, and it was reported and put out there, that Fightful did get word last night, shortly before the NXT show, that Mandy Rose would indeed be dropping the title to Roxanne Perez. We'll talk about that in just a second. In what was called a, quote, abrupt decision. Needless to say, she won't be at tonight's NXT tapings. They were going to be taping the final NXT episode of television for the remainder of the year. But once again, just to confirm this, that WWE felt they were put in a position where they needed to release Mandy Rhodes due to what they considered the explicit nature of the content on her brand army page. They considered this to be outside of the parameters or basically her violating her WWE contract. Now again, and mm -hmm. I, we, I, I don't even know. I didn't even know she had this page. Um, <laughs> but um, certainly, I, we, again, it's shocking news. It's kind of come out of nowhere. And as I mentioned last night, she did drop the NXT Women's Championship, but some felt that this was always the plan or the fact that Roxanne Perez had won the Iron Survivor Challenge, a deadline that made sense that she was going to win that and then win the championship or Mandy Rhodes would be called up to the main roster, even though she had actually dropped down from the main roster into NXT and gone on this really long reign as NXT Women's Champion. Again, if you're not familiar, Roxanne Perez, this is kind of all blurring into one now, Roxanne Perez is the new NXT Women's Champion after she defeated Mandy Rose on last night's edition of NXT on the USA Network. Now, Perez had won the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge at NXT deadline this past Saturday. Therefore, the 21-year-old had earned herself at the NXT Women's Championship at New Year's Evil on January 10. However, the prodigy came out and said, oh, I can't wait that long, and she cast in her opportunity on last night's edition of NXT after the NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose blindsided Perez with an attack at the top of the show. The match went on to main event the show and ultimately came to a close after Rose delivered the uh, the kiss of Rose. Perez kicked out, a feat which many haven't been able to do, and then Rose uh, then looked to put her away for good by delivering better roses. Perez managed to evade the maneuver, hit a pop rocks for the victory, and end the title reign. Now, of course, this is not the first time that Perez and Rose have come face to face for the title as Perez had previously won the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and secured a shot at Rose's title uh, that she cashed in on the July 12 episode of NXT. However, Perez came up short after her best friend Cora Jade cost her the match when she hit her with the bat. Now, Perez put an end to Rose's impressive 413 day reign as NXT Women's Champion. Rose had won the title after de defeating Raquel Rodriguez in a trick or street fight at last year's Halloween Havoc event and had successfully defended it against the likes of Cora Jade, Alba Fire, um, Io Sky, Zoe Stark, etc. Perez also holds the honor pun intended, of being the inaugural uh, Ring of Honor Women's Champion, which she won last year. She signed with WWE in March. She's also a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, but certainly the big news coming out of NXT, and I guess people kind of didn't know this. Um, people did kind of know this at the time. Um, well, it kind of felt like something was going on here was that Mandy Rose indeed would be exiting the company. And it's really staggering news. It really is. I mean, again, 
I, I haven't seen the page, so I can't I can't say either one way that um, you know this was this would be um, WWE felt like they were being put into a corner. I mean WWE is a PG company. Um, WWE um, you know can't allow I guess they believe can't allow its talent to be doing what they believe to be explicit con explicit content on, on these um, on these um, on these pages, I don't know. I mean, as I mentioned, um, what is being reported is that WWE felt that they were put in a position where they needed to release her due to what they considered the explicit nature of the content on her fan time page. They considered this to be outside the parameters of her WWE contract. Um, but it's a massive news story, this. It's a huge story, a surprising one. And I I'm, I'm just surprised it would have got to that to that point, to be honest with you, I would have would have thought you'd think that Mandy Rose would have gone to WWE and says, look, this is this page I want to do. This is the content I'm going to do it. And either WWE says yes or no, or WWE could have said, and, and again, because even though Mandy Rose is in NXT, she's held the championship for over 400 days, which she did until last night. And the feeling was that she'd go back up to the main roster at, at very soon, certainly. So you, you'd think, you'd think, Maybe that, that again, it could have been resolved whereby we want you to take this content down. This is a warning. You're dropping the championship. You're being suspended. But the fact that she's being released implies to me that maybe, you know, they did confront her on it or they did uh, address this with her. And she said, no, I'm not. I'm not taking it down or I don't I don't want to take it down. Um, it's again, it, it's very, very surprising, certainly. And um Again, it's 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 wild. It, it really is a, a, an unbelievable story, a, a crazy story that again, I'm sure we will find out and hear more about in the coming hours. Um, I would be, I would think, I did see it also as well earlier today. And again, apologies, I'm a bit scattered by this because at the same time, I'm just trying to sort of figure all of this out as we go. Um, but it was interesting because I did see Mandy Rose tweet earlier today. And it was a quote tweet of her reign as um, as NXT Women's Champion, talking about her reign being 413 days as champion. Brought uh, it was a, a fan tweet said, "So I think we need to give Mandy Rose her flowers. 413 days as champion brought back stability to the brand, created toxic attraction into a must-see stable, put over new young talent on the way out, and honestly deserves a huge push on the main roster. Proud of her." And Mandy Rose quote tweeted that and said, "Thank you" with a smiley face emoji. Little did she know, or did we know at the time, that she would be fired from WWE, you know, or, or maybe already had. I mean, frankly, if she said thank you, then she probably must have already known that she was going to be fired at that period of time. I don't know. It's a really fascinating story that's going on right now. I'm just trying to see if we can get any more details on this. It doesn't look like we can as of right now. Uh, but the main point is, is here, and again, being reported by Sean Ross Sapper Fightful, that WWE have released Mandy Rose from her contract. Um, WWE felt they were put in a position where they needed to release her due to what they considered to be the explicit nature of her fan time page. WWE um, considered this to be outside the parameters of a contract and the decision was made for her to drop the championship last night and uh, now we can see why. And um, it's uh, incredible stuff. Obviously, once we get more details on this, guys, we'll talk about it here on the channel. But that's the very latest news that we have. And if we get any more info, we'll, we'll talk about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Mandy Rose gone from WWE. What's next for her? What, she, what does she do next? What do you make of this decision? What do you think about this decision? Let me know your thoughts. Comment section below. Uh, be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe bottom right hand corner. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.